Today I'm going to be talking about a great tool I use all the time, and it's especially helpful if you're trying to learn more about dimensions and metrics in Google Analytics. It's actually a tool put out by Google, and you can get to it with a custom bit.ly that I created by just going to bit.ly forward slash API hyphen help. That's how often I use it. So I'm just going to give a quick overview. First of all, you'll notice here that you have several different modes. You have the API mode, web mode, and the app mode. The API mode and the web mode are the ones that I use most frequently, and they all serve a different purpose. By default, all of your dimensions are going to be listed, and if you click on the little plus sign here, you'll see more options. So you'll see a breakdown of dimensions and metrics under user. Um, but you could choose to expand all of them if you just want to scan. The only problem with that is that there are just so many, you'll be scrolling a while, so I don't recommend that. If you want to collapse them all at once, you can just unclick expand all. And if you just have a couple expanded, and or let's say you have maybe four or five expanded and you, you don't wanna have to go through and collapse them, you can actually choose to expand all and then deselect it and they'll all be collapsed. Another cool option here is this filter. So let's say, for example, you wanna see all of the social dimensions and metrics. If you just type in social, it will filter by social. And then this is an option that will show you only dimensions, metrics that are allowed in advanced segments. Okay, the one I use the most frequently is this web option. And this is why I really like this option. It gives you both the API name and the web view name. So the web view name is just what you see when you go to google.com forward slash analytics and look at your data. And then here you can see the corresponding API name. This is especially helpful when you have dimensions and metrics that are named very differently. So for example, social source on the web view name is actually called social interaction network in the API. And if you're working with the API quite a bit like I am, those can be really difficult to keep track of. Another example is service provider in the web view is called network location in the API. So again, very, very different. So if you're ever searching in the API, trying to figure out what the dimension or the metric is, just come to this tool and look up what you know. It's also a good way to learn, for example, the different dimensions and metrics that you have in the social sphere. So you can see here you have social dimensions and metrics under traffic sources, but then also social activities and social interactions. And if you have dimensions and metrics, then they divide them up this way. Whereas in the API, they're in different columns. And here we see the different dimensions and metrics for the app view. So again, I highly recommend this tool. I think it's a really, really great way to learn more about the different dimensions and metrics. Uh, you can also click on any one of these to get more information. So if you're not sure what something is, you can click through for more information. So if you're ever wanting to learn more about the Google Analytics API or just dimensions and metrics in general, you should definitely bookmark this tool. You'll use it all the time.